Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I bring you the Spellbinders Layered Stitch Diamonds die set. It's got eight separate dies and you can combine it in various combinations. And I make 10 cards. I get carried away as usual when it comes to stitching die. I end up making quite a few cards with different combinations on how I use the dies. You can either use just one die, two dies, or all of the dies. So here are some examples which I've already started. Here I just use two dies, the main die and the A2 die that cuts the outline. And I've already stitched it with DMC embroidery floss. So you could do that and that's fine. That's your card. Perfect and simple. And I die cut the separate uh, triangles. The tri I die cut the triangles separately and stitch them as well. So I can either adhere them to the card or leave it out. And here's another one I did on craft card and I die cut it the same way just using the two main dies and I can use the other four triangle dies or I can leave it without it. So it's very, very versatile. That's the beauty of this. So here I've done the triangle dies in gold thread and I've done the main die. I've, I've stitched it in white thread. I've used this spell of uh, the DMC essential glimmer threads here. I think this die set, you can die cut it in any card color. For the first card, I die cut it with a red card stock because I was going to make, a, well, I did end up making a Christmas card or rather holiday card. And I combine these cards with various spellbinders, flower bloom sets. I mean, there's so many die sets I have. They got the sprigs and blooms, people blooms, holiday blooms, Christmas blooms. There's so many types. And I also got quite a few card kits as well. So I am um, not card kits. I got quite a few of the die sets, the card kits that go, either the small die sets or the large die, die of the month. Use some of those as well, but it's so versatile, you can use almost anything. It doesn't have to be spellbinders, die cuts, or flowers. You can even stamp them, die cut them, fussy cut them. You could all just leave it as is. So it's quite versatile that way. So I start the first card here by just doing a basic stitch. So you can just remove all the little uh, dots that come with it. So after I do the initial die cut, I adhere the triangles. So the triangles are separate. When you adhere them to all four sides of the diamond, then it will die cut. It will remove it. So it's not just putting the stitch holes, but it die, die cuts the entire shape out. Now you can leave it without it or you can add it as well. So the first one I do, I uh, use the metallic thread. Now, if you're a new starter, if you're a beginner or a newbie, don't use metallic metallic thread. It's a little bit harder to use that because you really need to pull the thread taut with one finger as you continue sewing or stitching. So if you're new, do start with embroidery floss, DMC embroidery floss, and only use three strands because it's easier to use three strands. Well, it's better to use three strands because it's thinner. If not, it gets too thick and it might even tear the card. It's just difficult to sew that way. So when you split your strands, remember to do it one at a time so you don't knot it. So what I'm doing here is I'm die cutting the middle, the diamond in the middle, but I end up not using it. But that's OK. You can just use it some other time or you could just leave it as is. This die set comes with a matching sentiment set, which I'll look at later. So when I start, when you start stitching, you need a few things. I use a tapestry, DMC tapestry needle size 24. And here I'm using DMC Essentials Glimmer Thread, which is the bundle. It comes, the gold comes with it. When I start sewing it, I adhere the thread at the back with sticky tape, either cellophane tape or washi tape. And as you see here, as I'm sewing, I'm holding the thread and ensuring it's taut against the paper. If not, it can get quite loose, which is why I say if you're not used to it, do not start with this thread. You do this when you're more confident with your stitching because you do need to hold it to ensure that it's taut across the uh, card that you're stitching on. And when it comes to card, I do use a lot of colored card here. Just ensure that the thickness, it's, that the weight of the card rather is at least 100 pounds. If not, it can tear and it won't withstand all that handling and sewing that you do. So I had at least a hundred pounds card is what I do. So I do use quite a bit of um, 
colored thread. And when the thread ends, just the same way, adhere some sticky tape or cellophane tape at the back and it's done. So here you go, you've got your back of the panel that secures the thread and you can see how nice and straight and taut it is. So that's all you need to do. I, I think you need to experiment with the threads and the cards that you have, but check out my website, link in the description below, where I've given you a list of things that you would need when you start stitching, because if you have all the right equipment, then you know you're going to do your stitching really well. I find stitching with these stitching dies on paper craft or card, thick card, very therapeutic. And I sit and do loads of them. Once I get the hang of the design, I know I, the, the imagination is your limit. You know, there is no limit to what you create at the end of the day. And I think it's such pretty cards you can do. Here I'm using a different colored thread from the same bundle. I've got two bundles that I use and I kind of use them interchangeably. All the links in the description below or indeed even in my blog. So I try to use different shades of color. So I start with a quite a strong gold. This is a lighter gold and then after so I also end up using some glimmer white. So I, I kind of use all the same threads for this card, all the different elements of it because I think it looks nice against the gold. And I am going to make a holiday card with this. So what I do is I combine it with some holiday die sets that I have. I think it's the holiday blooms, the Christmas blooms. There are so many die sets that Spellbinders has to choose from. That really goes well. What I like is the the, the elements of those die sets, be it for leaves or, uh, or cloves or even the little flowers or, or sprays. They're all tiny and quite dainty. And I like how it goes against the card. And I've created quite a few examples and you will see them at the end of this video or indeed even at my blog where the, the you can see close up pictures of all of the uh, cards that I created as well as all the products that I've used against each of the cards. So even these triangles, it's the same way that you need to stitch it and secure the start and the end of the thread at the back of the piece that you're stitching, the card piece you're stitching with a sticky tape and ensure that it's taut when you stick it so the thread will remain that way when it's on the card front. It's really, really important that you do that. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, do give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. When you do subscribe, remember to press the notification bell so you're alerted when a new video is uploaded. To adhere the card panel to the card front, I use double-sided sticky foam, foam tape, so it gives it a bit more depth. So here I am putting the sentiment, and the sentiment here I use it from the layered diamond sentiment stamp set. Clearly, it's a stem set that's been created to go with this die set really well, especially in the middle. I use this die set for all my cards except for the final card where I use it a slightly different die set for the sentiment. Here, I am just going to stamp the sentiment directly onto the card front and leave the sh shape in the middle empty so you can see the sentiment. Since I new stamps, I am going to be using my stamp conditioner uh, eraser to ensure that the sheen on the stamp is taken off so it, it it will capture the ink well when I put it onto the card. I'm going to leave you with some music and I will catch you later.
Here are the completed cards. I start with this card where I just use the elements of the die with no additional embellishment other than the gems that you see. And then I start using all the various flower die sets that Bellbinders has to offer. And here I use the Etoile DMC thread. So it gives a shine to the thread as well. I like this thread and use it the same way as you use your DMC embroidery floss. I use various flower die sets from Spellbinders to embellish the cards so it gives it a little bit of a elegant look in my opinion anyway i really hope you enjoy the video if you do please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and when you do subscribe remember to press that notification bell so you're alerted when a new video is uploaded i really hope you give stitching dies a try this die is a great starter set for anybody do head over to my blog the link to my blog is in the description below where I've given a little paragraph of all the things you need when you're new to stitching dies. I think it's important to have the right tools to do the, the job and then you can get the desired results that you seek. In the meantime, happy crafting, take care and I'll catch you in my next video.